When installing a roll-on waterproofing liner in a shower, start by protecting the roughed-in wood curb with 15-pound felt paper or other vapor barrier prior to the installation of Curb Perfect to eliminate the wood from absorbing the moisture of the cement. Assemble Curb Perfect and cut to fit the length of the three 2x4 stack curb. Nail Curb Perfect to the outside wall of the 2x4s with 1.5 inch galvanized roofing nails. Attach the wall boards not more than 1 quarter inch above the subfloor. All wall boards and Curb Perfect must be in place before continuing. Confirm that the bottom flange of the drain assembly is level and free from movement and that the concrete is clean and dust free. Protect the bolt holes and drain mouth from debris with tape. Lay out the sticks needed to install pre-pitch. Reverse mark and cut each stick a half inch from the edge of the drain flange and secure to the concrete with the double-sided tape provided. Mix the one part Portland, four parts clean sand mixture to a consistency slightly wetter than that of a traditional dry pack or humid mortar mix for mud beds. Starting furthest away from the entrance, distribute the mud on and in between pre-pitch and screed to the surface of the sticks, leaving no voids or depressions. Trowel the mud up to, but not on the drain. Fill Kerr Perfect fully with the same mud mixture and let dry. Embed the fiberglass mesh tape into all corners with the membrane liquid and a brush. Roll all the walls first from the shower head down. Before rolling onto the pre-pitched floor, cut a 12 inch by 12 inch square of fiberglass mat or cloth material. With the flange bolts in their holes, brush an oversized square of membrane around and also on the drain and embed the cloth into it. Roll on the rest of the floor and curb, allowing a long enough dry time for a second coat over the entire area to guard against any possible pinhole leaks. A third coat may be necessary to achieve the recommended one mil thickness. Follow all the manufacturer's installation instructions. Obtaining the proper mill thickness of the membrane is very important. Let dry completely. Cut out the drain opening and bolt on the top flange of the drain. Determine which of the two supplied insert rings fit the drain and snap it into the universal center ring that is designed for square and three inch shower drains. Screw the drain riser into the insert ring roughly one half inch. Place a weep hole protector centered over the drain hole. Screw this assembly through the weep hole protector and into the top flange of the drain. Continue to screw this down until the universal center ring contacts the weep hole protector and adjust the drain riser for the thickness of the shower floors tile plus setting material. Be sure to position the drain riser precisely. You will not be able to make any adjustments after the mud has set. Measure, cut, and insert the quick pitch float sticks into the universal center ring. Our extra float stick kit, number XFS-101.2, is recommended. Mix the Portland sand mixture just wet enough to form a ball. This is a dry pack mix that is easier to screed for a thicker mud bed. 
distribute onto the shower floor, thoroughly packing it into the corners, through the holes of quick pitch, and between the drain and universal center ring. Screed the mud evenly to the top of the float sticks and ring. Allow to set before tiling.